Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Dentistry Made Easy. So the topic for today is mechanisms of bone growth. Now this is the subtopic from that topic itself that was your general principles and concept of growth. Now in my last two videos I have covered about growth in general terms. But now this is like we are focusing more on two bones that is your mandible and maxilla. So you should know how they actually grow. So in this video I am going to talk about how this bone grows. So the mechanisms of bone growth. This is from orthodontics. So basically there are three mechanisms which are involved in the bone growth. These are remodeling. The next one is growth fields. And the third one is growth movements. That is your cortical drift and displacement. So in remodeling there is two terms which are related to this. There is this deposition and resorption. And in growth fields there are again two terms that are your growth sites and growth centers and growth movements are again divided into two types that is your cortical drift and displacement. Now displacement are of two types that is your primary and secondary. Now I'm going to cover all this so that you'll know in brief about this mechanism. So the first one is your remodeling. Remodeling is nothing but it is the bone deposition and resorption. Like before going to remodeling we should know about bone deposition and resorption now the bone it changes in shape and size by two basic mechanism that is your bone resorption and bone deposition and this together is called as bone remodeling so bone it changes in its shape and its size because of two mechanism that is your bone deposition because of that osteoblastic activity when the bone gets deposited and the other is the bone resorption where the bone gets resorbed and this together is known as bone remodeling so the addition of new bone to the bony surface by osteoblastic activity is called as deposition and it is represented by a positive sign. The removal of the bone by osteoclastic activity is resorption and it is represented by a negative sign. And the progressive sequential change in the position of the bone as a result of remodeling is called as relocation. Now because of this deposition and resorption, your bone it changes in the position. So this is known as relocation because your bone is getting relocated from one position to other. So this is known as relocation. The remodeling is the differential growth activity which is involving simultaneous deposition and resorption on all the inner and the outer surface of the bone. So it is a sequential, like it is a simultaneous deposition. In this diagram as you can see, now this is a mandible. So there is resorb my negative sign is your resorption and positive is your deposition. Now about this I'm going to cover like in brief I'm going to like show a diagrammatic representation in a form of a video so that you can understand this well. So I'm going to do that in my next video and I'm going to make it way too easier for you. So the rim is it moves posteriorly by a combination of resorption and deposition. So your rim is for example if it is present at x position. So because of this resorption and deposition it moves to a new position and that is your relocation which is nothing but remodeling. The changes that bone deposition and resorption can produce are there can be change in size, there can be change in shape, then there is change in proportion and change in relationship of the bone with the adjacent structure. Now basically if your bone grows so all this happens like in, there can be change in size, shape, proportion like how it was, it was thin, thick, it will change. And the next one is your change. There will be change in relationship of the bone with the adjacent structure. If for example, if any structure is present over here, when your bone was at Y X position. So when your bone, it changes to a Y position, then obviously the relationship of that structure will change with that bone. So this was the first, which is your remodeling. Next one is your growth field. The growth field is the out side and the inside surfaces of a bone are blanketed by a mosaic like pattern of soft tissue cartilage or osteogenic membrane called as growth field. Now it's like your growth sorry your bone is surrounded by various structures that are your soft tissues cartilage then all these are known as growth field. These when altered are capable of producing an alteration in the growth of a particular bone. Now for example if you are taking of a brain now if your brain is growing in size so hence it will produce the changes in your bone, in your cranial bone. So your brain is 
a growth field. So for example, take brain as a growth field. The growth of the brain is adapted to the cranial bone. It causes the growth of the bone by resorption at the inner side and deposition at the outer side. And because of this, your bone, it grows accordingly. So when your brain, now your brain is small in size during your infancy, it grows into a bigger size as soon as like as you're growing. So because of this growth of the bone, it causes resorption. So there is resorption in the inner side of it and there is deposition on outer side. And because of that, your bone, cranial bone, it grows accordingly. These bone growth, growth fields may be growth sites and growth centers, which are coined by Brownie. So there is like they are divided into two types. That is your growth sites and growth centers. So what are growth sites and growth centers? Growth sites are growth sites are growth fields, which is local, which is a location or place that have a specific significance in the growth of a particular bone. So it's like a specific bone. Specific, it has a significance, special significance in the growth of a particular bone. For example, your mandibular condyle in the mandible. So it is like a particular bone in that whole bone structure. And your growth centers are, growth centers are the special growth sites which control the overall growth. So they control the overall growth and they are localized one. Like specific, so specific growth is related to your growth sites and overall is related to your growth centers. And the last one is your growth movements. Now growth movements are primarily of two types. That is your displacement and cortical. So the first one is your displacement. Displacement, it is the movement of the whole bone as a unit. So your whole bone is acting as a one unit. And there are two types of displacement that is your primary and secondary. So primary is known as translation and secondary is known as translocation. So now primary, it is, this is a displacement of the bone as a result of its own growth. So primary is, there is the displacement of the bone because it is growing on its own. So for example, growth of a maxilla, it grows with deposition of the bone at the tuberosity region. The formation of the new bone and its posterior end results in pushing of the maxilla against the cranial base, which results in the displacement of the maxilla in the forward and downward direction. Now your maxilla, it is displaced in a forward and a downward direction. The secondary is, this is the displacement of the bone resulting from the pull or push of the growth of the peripheral structure. So secondary is because of other things, your bone is pushed and it grows. So for example, the growth of the cranial base, it pushes the entire maxilla in forward and downward direction. Basically, it like pushes the pushes your bone. So there is no bone growth of particular bone. But because of other growth factors, because of other structures which are growing, it pushes your main bone. And this is passive in nature. So I'm going to show you an example like the picture of. So this is your primary displacement. Now over here, as you can see, this is your maxilla. Now in primary, we have seen your the main bone, it grows. So there is this deposition of your maxilla in the posterior region, which causes like the primary displacement of the maxilla, it occurs due to its own growth. So in this, your maxilla, it grows itself and the bone deposition, it occurs on the pos posterior surface. However, due to thrust created by the growing bone, the maxilla is displaced forward. And because of this, as your bone as your maxilla is growing posteriorly it pushes it in the forward direction now your secondary displacement is now your cranial base it grows now over here this plus sign is for your cranial base and this was for your maxilla so in secondary your cranial base is growing and because of that it pushes your maxilla suppose this was your empty region and now the bone it has grown over here so to accommodate the space for the maxilla so it pushes your maxilla in the forward direction. So the secondary displacement of the maxilla is the passive translation brought about by the growth of the anterior cranial base. So this is your primary and secondary. Primary is basically your maxilla is growing itself. Primary is the main reason, like the main bone which is growing is that own growth. And in secondary, because of other thing, your bone is moving. And this is your cortical drift, all the bone structures they have one growth principle in common, which was termed as drift by D.H. Enlow. It is a type of growth movement it occurring towards the depository surface by a combination of resorption and deposition. Now, 
all your bone structures they have one basic growth principle and it is termed as drift so suppose over here now your mand mandible it was at this position so because of the drifting like because of your deposition and resorption it has drifted it over here and finally the position of your mandible is in this position because of this drift and this is a growth movement which is occurring towards the depository surface the drift of the bone may occur in the same direction as displacement example palate both in the downward direction so there can be like your drift is in the same direction as of displacement which is for palate and there can be like the drift of the bone may occur in the opposite direction so it can be for the condylar growth and the maxillary growth the bone deposition it takes place in the posterior and superior direction of the maxilla and mandible where they are displaced anteriorly and inferiorly so your mandible your maxilla it the bone is deposited in posterior and superior direction whereas in mandible there is deposition in anterior and inferior direction so because of that they are displaced in forward and downward direction if the bone deposition and the resorption on the either side of the bone are equal so they are then the thickness it remains constant in the case if the bone is deposited on one side and less bone is resorbed so then the thickness will increase and on the other hand if the resorption is more and deposition is less so there may be increase there may be decreased in the dimensions so this is cortical drift now again as i said for my first part that was your remodeling that i'm going to show a diagrammatic representation to explain it in a much easier way so i'm going to do for this cortical drift i'm going to draw like a diagrammatic representation of this cortical drift so that you can understand it well like how this works like this is a basic example now as we have seen so this was your bone so there is this de deposition resorption so because of this it changes its position as there is equal deposition and resorption so it only changes in position but not in thickness but over here as you can see there is more deposition but less resorption so now your bone it increases in size and over here there is more resorption and less deposition so the bone it decreases in size so this is nothing but your cortical drift drifting is moving so this is the cortical drift which towards your depository surface and this is an example of primary displacement so this were the three mechanisms of your bone growth and these are like the very main concept that you should know in the general principle and the concepts of growth so this was it of this video i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much and yes i am going to post a video like a diagrammatic representation of the same thing to make it much more easier for you thank you so much